my name is Caroline St. Louis. I'm an ESL teacher at Master Vanier High School in Crownsville. I teach secondary one and two. So my school is located in the Houston townships. I would say that my clientele is either weak or bilingual. I love using technologies. I think I'm comfortable using technologies and I'm willing to try and uh, I'm curious. Well, um, uh, students say they like that I don't talk too much. <laughs> they are very much in action in my class. So I like um, making projects and involving them into uh, the different activities we'll be doing. So I'm not the type of teacher who stands in front of the class for an hour talking. Technologies available at my school. We have about uh, three computer labs. We have a few computers available at the library, as well as um, iPads and mini iPads, but not enough for a complete class. I borrowed uh, tablets from the school board, but the tablets were too old. So I decided I would use the program that is also available on the internet, so I would use it on our school computer labs. And we encountered problems when saving the different projects. Uh, the bandwidth was too slow, too old, it didn't work out very well. Also, when we had to record our voices, the headset would not be recognized by the computer, so I had to uh, call the technician and fix that. It was quite difficult. But when we got the, the mini tablets from the RECI, they were up to date, the program worked out just fine, and we could record easily the voices. The project could be done in just one class. I like technologies, <laughs> and I like um, getting challenged by technologies. I mean, there's always a way to go through the project. So I, I thought, this is where we are learning. Doing this, we are learning. I, I told the students, Geez, there's always a, a second solution to a problem. And I really liked the project, and I could see that the students really had an interest into it. And I wanted to show that, that there was a way to go through this, uh, the, the project and get a nice final product. I have this unit with my uh, method I'm using. It's called Jump In 2. And uh, there's, there's um, a unit where we talk about sports. And the students have to create a resort where they can practice their favorite sports. Uh, the original project is to build a pamphlet. And I thought it would be nice if we could build a, promo a promotional clip instead of a pamphlet. And so we had a formation with uh, Marie-Pierre and Sandra, and they said, why not use Spark Video to create that promotional clip? So I wanted students to research uh, on different um, kinds of resorts that were available in the world, and I told the students they could inspire themselves from resorts that already exist. I wanted them to read about different sports, sports they didn't know that existed. And I wanted them to um, uh, be aware of what equipment they would need to uh, participate in different sports. Why not combine sur surfing and yoga into one wonderful sport? Do you see a mistake? No, in I this? don't. Yes, it's good. So the next part, here at the Girly Resort, we offer you that opportunity. It's correct? It's correct. Yeah. Uh, using the information from their research, they created their own resort and they decided on four sports or activities they would uh, be able to practice in, at their resort. Students had to um, plan and prepare everything they would say in their video or everything they would put up as pictures, as subtitles, as uh, keywords that would appear in the video. They had to prepare all of that on a storyboard. And then they would create the video that fit with the storyboard. Uh, and after uh, we need to say the level of the difficulty of the sport, the equipment, the supply, the restriction, at the for, for the sport uh, we choose? Uh, we need a skis, we need um, a helmet too. Yes, and a pool. Oh yes, and pool. And uh, of course... Boots. Yes, boots. <laughs> After they produce their videos, they have to share it with me. 
and they have to prepare three questions for the class when they will watch all of the videos. So together we'll be watching their production and together we will answer questions on each of the videos. Technologies stimulate their interests, their motivation, and their creativity. And when um, I find it very interesting for them to use what they produce and uh, they feel stimulated by um, seeing their friends learning with their own projects. Hello and welcome to the Blue Ocean Resort. Here in the Caribbean, we have a beautiful view and a nice weather all year round. All the rooms have a balcony with an ocean view. The first activity is snorkeling. When you go snorkeling, our staff will take you on a boat towards a little island surrounded by colorful fish. Our resort offers this activity year-round thanks to our wonderful weather. Snorkeling is suitable for all ages over six that are in healthy condition. You don't have to bring your equipment. We have some for all your family. We won't accept pregnant women to come aboard. The second activity is riding. Our wonderful team will take you down to our barn to tack up the horses and the donkeys. We offer this activity on Sundays, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Riding can be hard for beginners, so we offer lessons for an extra cost of $20 per hour. We ask you to bring your boots. If an accident happens, we are not responsible. The third activity is our on-water experiences that include a catamaran, surfing, paddleboarding, and kayaking. On the weekend, you can enjoy all the water experiences, but on the weekdays, there is an activity reserved for each day, except Fridays, there is no on-water experiences. We supply all the equipment. For the catamaran, all ages are accepted, but for the three others, you need to be over the age of 12. Our fourth and final activity is beach volleyball. This activity is played on our five courts situated on the beach. You can play any day. All you need is to come and get the ball at the main desk in the lobby. This activity is for all ages. Please do not put the ball in the water on purpose. Last but not least, we have an amazing underwater buffet. The buffet offers food from all around the world. The restaurant is open from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. for breakfast, from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. for lunch, and for supper from... 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Hope you come and visit. Created work by Elisa and Matsil. All images are free from copyright. The students are very proud of their productions. The productions are then reinvested in class for another learning activity. It's also easier to share their production with their family. This motivates them to make their project even better.